do you like, are you you actually like if people just say Traddy? That's it. Yeah, do you have any yeah. other nicknames or what? Nah, Traddy's the main one. To be fair, Liam Shannon sixty nine on Instagram. What made you come to Adelaide United? I think you've kind of answered that. So let, let's just break down a little bit of it. Is it more of a coaching style squad? Opportunity to play first team football, all of the above. All of the above. Thank Definitely. you very much. <laughs> someone on Instagram. I mean, is that their account? Someone. So someone on Instagram. <laughs> or potentially it's someone on Instagram. Um, what is the one thing that's helped you become the person that you are today? I love that question. Yeah, that is a good question. Um, I think the people around me have definitely uh, helped help me be the person that I am today. I think obviously my family, my partner, um, I think they all go in uh, a way to help you uh, grow as a character and as a person. So I'd say, I guess, the environment around me. Uh, Alicina.8888 on Instagram. Ronaldo or Messi? Uh, Ronaldo all day. He's, uh, he's my idol, to be fair, just his work ethic and the way he goes about his football is something that I admire. So, yeah, Cristiano all day. His body is unbelievable, right? Like, it's just <laughs> next level. It's not human. Yeah, no, nah, I used to have a poster of him in my room. So, uh, yeah? yeah, he's my inspiration, to be honest. Have you got, like, close to having an opportunity to get near him? Uh, no. Unfortunately, he's. Uh, I was, we were able to verse Manchester United mm. when I was playing at Perth. So, I was, my missus always said, if only he came a year or two earlier, so I could have versed him, but... Anyway. What what was that like, that experience? Because with, the, with this game was at Optus Stadium, right? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was, I mean, the, the stadium's amazing. Yeah. Um, sometimes I find it hard, like I love Adelaide Oval, but it's not a football venue because yeah. there's a lot of space between the, yeah, the sidelines and stuff. Yeah. So it, you, you kind of want to be closed mm. in. But to have the opportunity to play against these players, is there a moment where you go, oh, well, we're going to just have a bit of fun here, but then you realise, no, well, we have to try and win this game. Well, yeah. How was your experience at all? Because we played Liverpool here, yeah. we played Malaga, Villarreal, so yeah. Adelaide United's had the good opportunity to do yeah. it too. Uh, I think, obviously, it's a massive club, but our intention was always to, to try and win. Um, obviously, being such a big club, it, they made it very difficult for us, but um, at the same time, I just wanted to enjoy the experience as well. Obviously, it's a pre-season friendly. Um, I think that was my, my first game one of my first games for the for the club. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to, to make the most of the experience. And I think uh, being able to play my, my favourite club is Manchester United. So, um, I guess playing against my, my dream club is uh, an amazing experience, to be honest. Did you swap shirts with a player at the end? Yes, I did. Who? I got Paul Pogba's shirt. So, uh, Jeez, that's all right. <laughs> Far out. Did you have a photo with him? Got a photo. I was able to frame the, the shirt. And he everything. signed it? Sign- oh, no, I didn't get a sign, unfortunately. Did he ask for yours? He got mine, but I reckon it's probably in the bin at Optus Stadium. But. I absolutely disagree <laughs> with that. No way. That's unreal, man. That's that's a very cool experience. And as I said, like the, to get the opportunity to do that, it must have been um, pretty special for you. Let me ask a question about Perth Glory very quickly before we go back to the fan questions. As a, as a supporter, I'm shattered that Diego Castro is not going to be playing for the Glory because as like I think as a fan, you go – I want us to win, but I want to see Castro play well. I want to yeah. see Fornaroli yeah. play well. Like, you want to see the good players play. Mm. I used to love um, the guy who played for um, for Sydney FC, the bald bloke who celebrated by flexing oh, his muscles. Oh, Mijewski. Yeah. So, I loved him because I'm also bald. And I'm like, it gives me, <laughs> co- it gives me hope. Because I'm like, I-, I could be he one, he, like him one day, apart yeah. from the fact I'm useless at football <laughs> and 37. But um, for, for Castro... I'm, I'm really shattered about it, and I understand that Sturridge is coming, which is a huge thing for the league and for Perth, but, man, Castro's good. <laughs> yeah, I think, um, yeah, obviously it is a bit disappointing to lose such a, an amazing player, not only just for Perth glory, but for the whole A-League. Obviously, he's provided such quality for the last six years, and um, I don't know, I, I've heard rumours that he could be coming back, but I'm not 100% sure, um, but... I think at the same time, like you said, having Sturridge uh, at the club is massive for them and, mm. and the league as well. So hopefully it's not the last of, of Castro, um, but I think, uh, yeah, we just got to uh, embrace the fact that we've had that quality for the last six years. That's very true. Um, this is from Chris underscore A underscore 110 on Instagram. Do you know you look like Charlie Dixon and have you ever met Charlie Dixon? 
I actually don't know who that is. I'm okay, so sure. <laughs> that's I love when people say that. So Charlie mm. Dixon is uh, an AFL player. Can you chuck me my phone, Timmy, please? And I'll show you what Charlie Dixon looks like. So To be fair, I think that uh, maybe a couple of the uh, boys at training might have said this the other thanks. day, actually. Good-looking guy, far out. Oh, I'll and take it then. He's an athlete. Like, he's unreal. So he plays for the power yeah. um, and great human being. Uh, think, this is, yeah, this I is think Charlie. Colin might have said this. I'm going to try and find one with his shirt off so you can go, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I look like him. I'll take that one. Oh, there he is. No, this is shirt on, but there he is there. Yeah, it's not, not a bad little replica, to be fair. Not I'll, I'll take that. I'll yeah, go. Charlie Dixon, very nice. <laughs> um, this is from Fuse Memes 1 on Instagram. How is it scoring your first goal for Adelaide United? Ah, uh, yeah, beautiful. Uh, I think uh, to, to help us progress in the FA Cup and – uh, I guess our first proper competitive match, I was very happy to score for, for the club. What was your celebration? Did you do a love heart? Yeah, so I tried to do a C for Sienna. Um, but I How do you to, do that? Because you Yeah, I did it backwards. Yeah, that's so what I'm I've thinking. done a C my way, but obviously to her it's backwards. So she corrected me on that one and then oh, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> And then uh yeah, just the the love heart to to show my appreciation for everything that she's done as well. That's Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Maybe when you score next time, you can propose on the field. I'm just uh, sorry, no problem. Already done it. What do you mean? Are you engaged? Yeah. Oh, don't say partner. Say fiance, Traddy. Well, well, I'm supposed to be supposed to be married as well. To be fair, but what? Yeah, we've had to postpone a couple of times. Traddy, we are 28 minutes into the bloody podcast, and you tell me this now because you're just real low key. Yeah, my partner of three years. Yeah, she's here. It's really cool. So <laughs> that's my bad. To- so COVID stuffed up the wedding. Yeah. Where were you supposed to get married? In Perth. Oh my god. Well thanks, mate. Cheers for saving that to the end of the podcast. <laughs> we're probably gonna run out of time. Um great question, Fuse Memes one. Tony on Twitter, do you have any pre match rituals that you do on match day? Uh I think I like to go outside and uh do a little juggle and a little bit of ball work before the game, but obviously when it's uh, I guess an earlier kickoff is a bit difficult. But mm. I'd say that's probably probably one of the main ones to be honest. You know that Dylan McGowan, who was the, the captain of the Wanderers and he would he, he Dylan McGowan once won the golden boot for Adelaide United. That's how poor of a season that we had. I think he's had like four goals or something. He used to punch himself in the head. Pre game yeah, to get no, himself not, fired up. I'm not doing anything like that. That's for sure. I mean, that explains a lot about him. As well. <laughs> I mean, he's a great, you know, former legend of the club. Um, okay, someone on Facebook um, asked about the experience in India. You already spoke about that, but what was the best food you ate in India? Uh, or did you stay West, as Western <laughs> as possible? Uh, I was pretty Western, to be fair. I think uh, the Indian here that we eat, like the butter chicken and the lamb korma, I would say is probably better here than, than over there. Unfortunately, they got bones in their butter chicken, so oh. it makes it difficult to eat. But uh, I, I ate uh, a quite a repetitive, uh, on a repetitive basis. I was eating chicken, rice and veg and fish, rice and veg, pretty much lunch and dinner every day. So. You would have been ripped, though, because that's real <laughs> like clean eating, eh? Yeah, yeah, no, I felt, felt pretty good, to be fair. Uh, last one. Someone on Instagram, have you ever been starstruck or in awe of an opponent slash teammate apart from Paul Pogba? Um, I'm going to have to say no to that one. Obviously, I can appreciate very good quality players, but at the same time, um, I try to, I think, in games, concentrate on what I need to do to, to perform at my best and eliminate, I guess, their strengths. So... Um, Obviously, the ones at Manchester United is a given, but as for anything else, I'm going to say, yeah, no for that one. Awesome. I've got one more question before we're going to get you to sign this 2021 playing shirt, thanks to you, Ken. Um, How are you going to measure success this season as a team and personally? Uh... It's hard to say. I like to, uh, I guess, just sort of take each day as it comes. I think, um, obviously, even just this this news with Joshi Cavallo is a success uh, for the club and I think uh, world football. So I think we're in a, in a good position to start. And then I think um, I want to be battling for the trophy. Um, but at the same time, I don't like to semi-put expectations uh, on, on players. And I think whatever is going to help you perform at your best is, is the way you approach things. And, and for me, I think that's a bit the same, to be fair. So 
uh, just enjoy it and, and do my best. Awesome. Great answer. There's the list of questions done. Thank you very much for getting involved. <laughs> There's a texter here somewhere. All right, maybe I've chucked it. Uh, we'll give you the texter, and we want you to pick wherever you want to sign. Um, we will do that. And, uh, Treddy, we're mates now. So Beautiful. thank you so much for being here. No drama. This has been The Pitch. Make sure you share, subscribe, like, give it a review, and we will say goodbye to Pratt. <laughs> We will catch you next week on the Pitch Podcast. Trat. Follow him on social media. Watch your social hashtags and all that other stuff. How do we follow you? Uh, I think Trady27 or Jake. I don't know. Too yeah, much. I don't know. Great. Thanks, Trady. <laughs> yeah. Man. He's got no idea. Just told us at the end of the podcast he's engaged. <laughs> awesome stuff. Love you, Adelaide United family. Trat. What's your Twitter account? Just Jacob Trout, I think. You think? Yeah. You don't know? All right, yeah, I'm awesome. <laughs> Great. Really works well. We'll catch you next time, Reds fans. Sign the top. Love you long time. Beautiful. Go Reds! <laughs>